Hello traders, hello everyone, my name is Gregor Horat and welcome to a new intraday video analysis. Um, as you know, Biden has um, introduced uh, tax hikes for corporates, uh, I think from around 21 to 28%, so it's a massive move here. Uh, and looks like that uh, dollar somehow uh, likes this uh, scenario, even stocks are seeing higher. Um, and on the other hand, uh, whenever you're looking at the euro dollar, you also still have vaccine issues. We just went here in Slovenia into a lockdown. So um, this really makes euro dollar uh, seeing a new lows here. Um, before we go to the euro dollar, I still think that uh, the 10 year US notes or the US yields, if you want, are very important. Uh, we have recently seen a drop on Aussie dollar to new low um, and looks like that this has a connection with um, weak 10-year uh, US notes. As you can see, I'm tracking here still uh, five waves down, okay? Uh, so looks like that this wave five is not botting yet. However, I would expect some kind of a rally, uh, let's say at the start of April. And if that's going to be the case, then dollar yen, which is in orange here, could again come back to the downside or at least stay sideways here. At the same time, Aussie dollar could bounce. Okay, so the main idea is that I see this 10 year US nodes potentially in final stages of this current drop from um, start of the year. So even if you get a free wave rally, the recent dollar moves that we have seen lately could be reversed, okay? Uh, in other words, dollar could be trading at resistance. Um, now, if we take a look on, firstly, on Aussie dollar, uh, here you have uh, this recent drop after the consolidation here in wave four uh, that we were tracking recently. It looks like that now five waves down here could be in progress for a wave five. So very nice support is a 75 level. Uh, also, when looking at the four hour chart, of course, there is room for slightly more weakness, maybe even to retest the lower side of this corrective channel. But the idea is that whenever we see a five wave bounce from the lows, either from the near term levels or from uh, after another 100 uh, point sell off well that's when these things could become very interesting for the long side let's keep in mind that there is still on the daily chart you have still this uptrend in progress we are now trading around 100 simple moving average here we have a very similar pullback in land compared to the one that we have seen here um, in September. So in my opinion, this appears very attractive support. I'm not saying that we will bounce from here, but if we are going to see five wave rise on a smaller time frame, then I definitely will consider this um, this potential maybe even long setups. However, we definitely have to see dollar Chinese one turning to the downside. As you know, Chinese one and Australian dollar has a strong positive correlation no doubt this is a strong downtrend and i believe this will be corrective pullback the only question is how far can we go there's some very nice resistance when looking back here uh, from march uh, 2019 levels um, also let's take a look on uh, copper here real quick there's potential triangle still in the making the very important point for, for invalidation level is definitely going to remain this wave a swing low uh, and because let's face it, I mean, as until you have see five waves here done, A, B, C, D, E, subwaves for a wave four, it's very hard to define where the, each subway will finish. So it may always become a little bit more complex here. That's why I'm saying that for a triangle, wave A here is one validation level. Uh, but even if we see a drop below that level, then maybe we get the retest of these January highs and then a reversal to the upside. The point is that this drop was first in three waves and now we are just moving sideways here. So the idea is that this is correction, maybe a complex one, ideally wave four that is still uh, ongoing, but when it, we will be able to say that correction is completed, that's when this thing could rise further and this could be positive for us. Uh, now let's take a look on the euro dollar. As I said, we are coming to the downside. And looks like that this is a five wave drop 
from uh, these March highs, swing highs. Uh, so we could face some recovery. We went out of this downward channel. So maybe some recovery could be seen. Keep in mind that we have non farm parallel support. We have uh, start of a new month, meaning flows could change. And then you have Easter holidays. So we have plenty of different um, scenarios why this could impact the market and potentially cause some some reversal so um, despite being bearish trend still intact obviously just be aware that there can be pullbacks and that it's a very late stages for any new potential shorts in my opinion also if we take a look here on a higher degree time frame charts maybe that could be still forcing a little bit of a leading diagonal for a first lag that will take us down but after this pullback okay so even if i have bearish wave count uh, i'm aware of potential recovery now here we have more aggressive bullish count still in play and you are now in a wave four at a very nice important level notice this 38.2 percent and then you have this former wave four so you so you are moving into very nice potential support zone and if we also add to this this five wave drop then definitely we should be aware uh, of potential rally even if just short term um, but definitely it's not the kind of a structure that I would be looking for longs because you don't have any five waves up but let's assume that here on the one hour you get the five waves up here by the end of by the next week okay let's say that non farm payroll support will be bearish for the US dollar well that's when also I would be keep an eye on this euro dollar despite vaccine issues and so on because uh, I think that this somehow is already priced in with the recent uh, drop down in price um, now what I have prepared here let me just take a look um, also let's take a look on dollar swiss and gold uh, dollar swiss here is moving to the upside on the hourly chart uh, but maybe that's notice some overlaps here okay so i still assume that we could face some some limited upside i know the trend is very strong here and could easily continue much higher but if i look at the daily chart this one which should become our primary wave count now um, even this one suggests that next opportunity should be after wave four definitely not here so whenever you are looking for trading decisions uh, if you see price in a wave five just be aware that there can be pullbacks so uh, if you want to join the trend uh, you i think that it's much safer and easier to play and or join the trend after retracement after a slower price action uh, or maybe even looking for scaling into position when you see a correction unfolding um, so buying it here i think it's a very dangerous but we made a very nice trade when looking back at this former way four uh, now let's take a look also on dollar yen we mentioned earlier that uh, 10 year us notes are potentially moving or searching for resistance well dollar yen for now is still in uptrend i believe that's an incomplete five wave seconds we're looking from the end of a wave four here notice that the drop recent one was only in three waves here and now we are moving sideways so it looks like a triangle that could send price higher uh, and once we will break quite sharply above 111 well that will be 111.70 quite close then so i'm looking for a retest of this level maybe spike and then we see some retracement keep in mind that this was actually uh, high uh, from a year back when this covid crisis started um, so it's definitely a very important key level because i'm sure there are a lot of um, a lot of stop orders up there and maybe even some um, long orders that are trying to play the breakout okay so usually when market hits these levels both sides can lose if the market turns uh, now i said also gold uh, in connection with dollar swiss i mean gold is turning to the upside it's not very clear if this wave 5 has bottomed here but maybe that's enough um, especially because we have five waves up okay so even if you ignore the higher degree structure Whenever you have five waves up here, like a very strong movement, even if higher degree correction is still unfolding and we'll see more weakness, well, you could expect more upside here after, after a free wave retracement, in my opinion. So if this gold 
precious metals will continue to rise, then dollar Swiss, I believe, will be headed into resistance. Um, now let's take a look also on dollar cat. Now, as you know, crude oil came recently to the downside, um, but I'm still thinking that even if let me just try to hide this wave count. Even if this is a five-way fall, okay, I believe that this three-way rise, contra movement, still can move towards sixty-three dollars per barrel. Okay, um, so why? Because here on the intraday chart, I see only three waves down. Okay, so I think that maybe some kind of a leading diagonal here, and we are going to see another push up. Um, then you have another wave count, obviously. Um, which is showing maybe that this was wave, wave A, wave B, and then you have this extended five-wave drop for wave C. But it's very hard for me to confirm any uh, any direction here when looking. At, I mean, it's very hard for me to confirm that we are headed back towards 68 from here, or are we going lower after this bounce? The reason is that this rise. I hide the wave count here. That this rise is quite overlapping. Okay, so it's not very convincing regarding the bullish term. So I think we have to wait a little bit more. Maybe we'll just stay here consolidating. And if that's the, going to be the case, well, then I think that dollar cat could easily find some buyers. Uh, when looking at dollar cat here, I mean we have seen a very nice bounce here. We came back to this previous consolidation of a fourth wave so it looks like the fifth wave could be bottoming and that correction is underway i'm tracking wave b the first support here at 12545 has been triggered the second even maybe more important one would be at 61.8 percent here at 1.2480 okay so let's see what happens in the next few sessions i mean if we see a weakness and then a reverse let's say tomorrow by the close very sharp price then I think we will see more upside. But of course, we'll have to keep an eye on crude oil. So I'm watching this one as well because I know that this one could be very interesting, especially if crude oil really will give us enough of price data and confirmation that we have seen a five-wave fall from the highs and that we will continue lower into a correction of crude oil. This would be very important uh, bullish case for um, for dollar cap. Okay, uh, now finally let's take a look on NASDAQ. Okay, I've been looking at NASDAQ and tracking this one for a while. And the reason why I focus on this one so much is because of a clearer price action. We have seen NASDAQ 100 much weaker compared to the other indexes. But even this weak market, weak sector, technology sector has been showing us a bullish pattern. And further upside on this one, on technology sector suggests that other markets, S&P 500, maybe even European indexes, will remain in uptrend. Okay, so that's why I have been focusing on this one. In fact, it produced very nice um, risk reward setups. If maybe someone looked for it, because well, as I said, this market has been much weaker compared to other sectors. So now it's picking up, and of course, it's much. Uh, greater up, upward potential. And what I'm looking at uh, right now is five waves up here. You had a counter trend movement, very nice bounce here for a leading diagonal. And now it looks like that we are in the middle of wave three. So I think here we are going to see a retest, then maybe wave for pullback and maybe even more upside after any retracements. Uh, if we take a look here on a higher degree time frame charts, I mean structure here, if we look back, you had I believe only three waves set back and now we are headed higher. Okay, so uh, while I'm looking at, at this type of a price action, because I believe that uh, it's very hard to fight very big uptrend that we have in place since last since last year. Okay, so it's much easier for me to track and observe the wave counts in this direction rather than looking for a top. Okay, so I think that more upside could be seen here, but let's say that maybe we are here going to see some more complex, like a triangle. And you have ABC, another ABC here, and still you would be expecting wave C to move towards higher prices. So if we attach the FIP levels here, wave C could be very equal or similar in distance to wave A. Okay, so I took a distance of this first rally here, 
and project it from this end of um, the pullback and you can see that uh, I see there is room for another maybe even 500 points here okay um, while we are trading definitely above this invalidation level okay traders thank you very much I hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions contact me in slack in the chat room or I'm as always available on Twitter or send us an email have a good day bye